where we have key challenges in on land reform in South Africa. Uh, we are dealing with them uh, from Agba's side, engagement with uh, government, constructive engagement uh, continuously. Uh, firstly, we must from the outset say that land reform is an imperative in South Africa. Uh, it's even made provision for in the constitution and we support that. The question is how do we do it? Now from our point of view we have made a, a number of proposals in terms of redistribution of land. Uh, firstly the right of first refusal principle, a, a, a program that has been used extensively in, in Namibia with great success but we've also come with the uh, Barsa Agbas model for land reform and financing commercial land reform uh, where we can play a major role in transferring land to, to previously disadvantaged individuals while either through farm worker trust or through um, uh, beneficiaries that go into partnership with farmers. Currently the major uh, policy issues or legislation issues that we are looking at are firstly the expropriation bill and that has been sent back to Parliament and we will engage on that process. The second one, probably the one that is the most concerning for us, is the regulation of agricultural land holdings bill or policy that we've been engaging with uh, the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform recently. That's on the land ceilings and in prohibition of land ownership by foreign nationals. Uh, that is quite a controversial piece of legislation. But there also uh, legislation in Parliament currently on the, the ESTA Amendment Bill, that's the Extension of Security of Tenure Act. Uh, we support that bill but have proposed certain technical uh, amendments to that bill. Then also the, uh, there's the Restitution of Land Rights uh, amend, uh, uh, Act that was uh, amendment act that was sent back by the constitutional court to parliament for extensive uh, revamping of, of that act uh, and proper consultation and they're given a two-year period for that and they've also said that the, the claims that have been lodged under that act uh, since July 2014 uh, cannot be processed until that act is reviewed and and before any other uh, act comes into place the, the claims that are still outstanding from the 1997-98 uh, 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 Act first have to be processed before we can in introduce the new Act. So there are, there are a number of, of issues. There are still other policies and legislation pieces also still outstanding that we need to address. It's quite, it's quite comprehensive.